A young soul sits in his home, phone in his palm, TVs on so he doesn't feel alone. It seems like the glow of the screens bring a dull light to the room but not warmth to the scene. He's trying to unwind, decompress and sit back, but he feels stressed he can't clear his mind or relax. I need to get out. Out of this room, out of this house, out of this world of disquiet, anxiety, doubts. Some fresh air. A few deep breaths in the park under the trees before it closes at dark is just what I need. So he takes a walk. He'll sit at his favorite spot, connect with nature, be alone with his thoughts. The air is crisp. The breeze carries the scent of rain. He takes a seat and hears someone whisper his name. There's no one around but a man feeding some birds, bread in his hand, eyes down, not speaking a word. He looks in surprise as there's a book at his side. The pages stir with a wind and the softest of sighs. It calls to him. What could this be? No one claims it when he asks. I guess I'll take it with me. He gets to his feet, book tucked in his coat, as he heads to the street, intrigued by this mystery. Set into motion by this young soul's need, the eternal prince of beauty has planted the seed. That night, under the light of the moon, this soul's mind and heart are consumed by the wisdom and spirit of this text. It connects him line direct to the source of this world and the next. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Hidden within these books lay keys to unlock inner perfection, to live life in service through a spirit of self-reflection, connection to the divine source, single-minded direction, to the Lord of the heart, this soul's eternal affection. The book lifts his consciousness, his mind is refined to a state of peace and introspection while he seeks the divine, Reading with intention and discipline, his life realigns with the depth and clarity as his voyage unwinds. Reading summons from the spiritual realm sacred sound. Embraced within his heart, he deepens his practice. Progress, day by day, page by page, prayer after prayer, and his life is changed. The years pass and the light that ignited his transformation smolders within the depths of his soul though he never loses sight of the goal. The weight of obligation slows his determination, a subtle burden that slowly wears away his control. He works in the world, doing his best to live with integrity and spiritual consciousness. Though his intentions are good, He's not doing all that he should. He finds that his discipline is being put to the test. But as he sits in his daughter's room, his mind turns back to the magic of that night. The mystic sages, the wisdom, the light, spiritual discipline, service, interdimensional flight to a realm of love and devotion, every soul's birthright. A fresh day, Inspiration renewed, the family comes together to clean the temple room. It clears the mind and cleanses the heart. Excitement is in the air, this is a beautiful start. Service to God, Krishna, and chanting his name, 
devotion to Prabhupada with gratitude that he came to deliver this message through these books and the scripture to paint the spiritual world in a glorious picture. A line unbroken, age through age, from an ancient era to the modern day. His daughter today becomes tomorrow's sage. She starts her journey at the park, page by page, page by page.